Warning signs are like bright threads woven into the fabric, demanding our attention. They serve as beacons, guiding us away from potential pitfalls and toward a path of greater wisdom and enlightenment. As Nichiren Daishonin, the revered Buddhist teacher, once wrote, if you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of why we must not only heed warning signs in our own lives but also help others recognize them. Warning signs manifest in myriad ways, from subtle whispers of intuition to glaring red flags that scream for our attention. They can appear in our personal relationships, professional endeavors, spiritual journeys, and even in the broader context of society. The key lies in developing the awareness to recognize these signs and the courage to act upon them. In our personal lives, warning signs often emerge in the realm of relationships. A partner's repeated dishonesty, emotional manipulation, or disregard for our feelings can serve as clear indicators that something is amiss. Nichiren Daishonin's writings offer guidance in such situations. He stated, Beware of false friends. They are like a shadow on a sundial. It appears when the sun is shining, but disappears as soon as a cloud passes over. This metaphor beautifully illustrates the importance of discerning true friends from those who may harm us. Similarly, in our professional lives, we must remain vigilant for warning signs that could impact our career trajectory or work environment. A toxic workplace culture, unethical business practices, or a lack of growth opportunities are all red flags that shouldn't be ignored. As we navigate these challenges, we can draw inspiration from Nichiren's words. If you care nothing about what others think of you, but act with courage in accordance with what you believe is right, then your mind will become strong and unshakable. On our spiritual journey, warning signs can be more subtle yet equally crucial. A sense of stagnation in our practice, a growing disconnect from our beliefs, or an increasing attachment to material possessions may all indicate that we've strayed from our path. Nichiren Daishonin reminds us, demons will arise from one's own mind, vying with one another to interfere. This teaches us to be mindful of our inner demons and the warning signs they manifest. In the broader context of society, warning signs often appear as social injustices, environmental degradation, or political corruption. Ignoring these signs can lead to dire consequences for communities and future generations. The Buddhist concept of interconnectedness, or dependent origination, underscores the importance of addressing these societal warning signs. As Nichiren scholar Daisaku Ikeda explains, everything in the universe is connected. Nothing can exist in isolation. Our lives are intimately bound up with the fate of the earth. Recognizing warning signs is only half the battle. Acting upon them requires courage and wisdom. Nichiren Daishonin's life exemplifies this principle. Despite facing persecution and exile for his beliefs, he continued to speak out against corrupt religious practices and societal injustices. His unwavering resolve in the face of adversity serves as an inspiration for all who seek to address warning signs in their lives and communities. One of the most challenging aspects of heeding warning signs is overcoming our own resistance to change. Often, we may recognize a warning sign but choose to ignore it out of fear, comfort, or attachment to the familiar. Nichiren addresses this human tendency in his writings, although I and my disciples may encounter various difficulties, if we do not harbor doubt in our hearts, we will as a matter of course attain Buddhahood. This passage encourages us to face our challenges head-on, trusting in our innate wisdom and the power of our practice. Developing the skill to recognize and act upon warning signs is a lifelong journey. It requires cultivating mindfulness, emotional intelligence, and a deep connection to our innate Buddha nature. Regular meditation and self-reflection can sharpen our ability to discern subtle warning signs before they escalate into larger problems. As Nichiren teaches, when you face a mirror and bow, the figure in the mirror bows to you. Similarly, when you respect others, they will respect you. In our interconnected world, the ripple effects of ignoring warning signs can be far-reaching. Consider the environmental crisis we face today. Decades of ignoring warning signs about climate change have led us to a critical juncture. 
The Buddhist principle of Esho Funi, or the oneness of life and its environment, reminds us that our actions have consequences not just for ourselves but for all living beings and the planet itself. Warning signs also appear in our physical health. Persistent pain, unusual fatigue, or sudden changes in our body's functioning are all signals that demand our attention. Nichiren Daishonin, who faced numerous health challenges throughout his life, wrote, A wise man can see the cure before he gets sick. This wisdom encourages us to be proactive in addressing health concerns, rather than waiting until they become severe. In the digital age, we face a new frontier of warning signs. The addictive nature of social media, the spread of misinformation, and the erosion of privacy are all issues that demand our vigilance. As we navigate this landscape, we can turn to the timeless wisdom of Buddhism. Nichiren's emphasis on critical thinking and discernment is particularly relevant. Rely on the law and not upon persons. The concept of watching warning signs extends beyond mere observation. It calls for active engagement and a willingness to take responsibility for our lives and the world around us. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings emphasize the power of individual action. He wrote, a single candle can light countless others without diminishing itself. This beautiful metaphor reminds us that by addressing warning signs in our own lives, we can inspire and empower others to do the same. However, it's crucial to strike a balance between vigilance and paranoia. Not every challenge or difficulty is a dire warning sign. Some are simply part of the natural ebb and flow of life. Nichiren Daishonin teaches us to approach life's challenges with equanimity, regard both suffering and joy as facts of life, and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. The ability to discern between genuine warning signs and temporary setbacks is a skill honed through experience and spiritual practice. It requires developing a deep connection with our inner wisdom, or what Buddhism refers to as our Buddha nature. As we cultivate this connection, we become more adept at recognizing the subtle whispers of intuition that often precede more obvious warning signs. In our quest to heed warning signs, we must also be mindful of the warnings we send to others. Our words and actions can serve as beacons of wisdom or sources of confusion for those around us. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the importance of compassionate communication. The voice does the Buddha's work. This reminds us to speak and act with kindness and clarity, especially when we're trying to alert others to potential dangers or challenges. As we cultivate our ability to recognize and respond to warning signs, we may find that our perception of the world shifts. What once seemed like random misfortunes or coincidences may reveal themselves as interconnected patterns. This heightened awareness can lead to a deeper appreciation of life's complexities and a greater sense of purpose in our actions. The practice of watching warning signs is about more than avoiding danger or preventing misfortune. It's about living with intention, clarity, and wisdom. It's about taking responsibility for our lives and our impact on the world around us. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, if you want to understand the causes that existed in the past, look at the results as they are manifested in the present. And if you want to understand what results will be manifested in the future, look at the causes that exist in the present. The ability to watch and heed warning signs is a vital skill in navigating the complexities of life. It requires courage, wisdom, and a willingness to face uncomfortable truths. By cultivating this skill, we not only protect ourselves from potential harm but also contribute to the well-being of others and the world at large. As we journey through life, let us remember Nichiren Daishonin's words, employ the strategy of the Lotus Sutra before any other. In the context of warning signs, this strategy calls for mindfulness, compassion, and unwavering faith in our ability to overcome any challenge that comes our way.